Marcus. Alright. Hey, booty boy. Anyway, cheers. It's another mail day. I guess you get more of a cross shot with this angle, but whatever. Got one big ass package that I got from Southern Lord Records. Wasn't something that I planned on buying until I saw that Toad Liquor had came out with a new album after fuck how many goddamn years or not even like when whenever that compilation came out still what 20 something fucking years i went ahead and just ordered the uh lp even though i'd rather have it on cd but is as it is just in case i went ahead and got it just like how um what was it? Frog skin. They still only have stuff on LP instead of CD. Which makes me sad, but... Eh. Is as it is. I got other good stuff to listen to, like trees or horns. So. You know, one of the main reasons why I went there. So, they also had a massive sale going on. And I went ahead and purchased some stuff from that because I thought I had ordered that earlier, but I think I canceled out of it before I could, uh, like I wanted to get home and check to make sure I didn't double purchase certain albums. So we're going to go into the CDs that I did buy because I think they still have it going on for a... Uh, sale. I guess they're just trying to destroy their stock that they have or, you know, lower it so they can get out of paying for so much unnecessary space. Throw that down there. And I and I did try to keep it for the most part a lower cost for myself you know I bought too much in the last couple of weeks so I gotta make up for it let's go with this one first up is lies this one I did not know anything about I didn't listen to it I really like the fucking artwork I think this is a compilation of abuse and plague or I don't know if it's too let me let me read the little blurb up on there Members of Skin Like Iron, good fucking hardcore band, slash, I guess you can sort of say they're metalcore, but they're a hardcore band. And the Hope Conspiracy. Eh. Raging, brutal, hardcore punk. And, yes. So it's a combo of Abuse LP and the Plague LP. Have not listened to either. I do like Skin Like Iron. The Hope Conspiracy, you know, kind of more of a post-hardcore band. You know, it's pretty good, but it wasn't something a go-to for me. I, I did buy some of their stuff. So, very interested to see. I mean, that is some yeah, Calamar type fucking bullshit. And this is the one that I had to go and make sure I didn't have. This is the third album from Baptists. Beacon of Faith. I do like that they continued on with the same uh theme that they have with the uh, artwork. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the front. Besides, you know, the, the blurb sticker telling it's Baptist. But all in a wooded area. This is, uh, yeah, I said Beacon of Faith. D-Beat Hardcore Band. They utilize um, Sun Amps. I thought the first one, uh, Bushcraft, was excellent. I think the other one was, like, Blood something. I don't recall as much as that one. It was still good. So, I obviously had to get the third album. Just to see if they, you know, continued on the same path. And I'm going to be listening to the first one and second one again. Because it's not a band that I think of often. But, when I get into that kind of crusty, D-beat, hardcore mood. You know, I'll pull out Black Ships. 
and uh, Bosnia and Baptists all have that same sort of similar vibe and if you haven't heard Black Ships or uh, Bosnia fucking fantastic bands like it's that perfect amount of basically just kind of a worship of tragedy but with a little bit they, they get a little bit sludgier so to speak put that off to the side and then I got some LPs besides the let's go ahead and start with the one that I said that I needed to uh, purchase I think this one is it Toad Liquor Back in the Hole this is the orange vinyl decades long onslaught seven out seven picks I, I mean I literally just listened to about 10 seconds of it ordered it I fucking love fucking toad liquor one of my favorite sludge bands they are epically fucking disgusting I have a t-shirt that I wish I could still wear I think it's a large and kind of worn out that I had of the uh the first cover they had for their first self-titled, which was um, uh, the cover of the guy who got crushed at a uh, concert and had a Jets jacket on. Just just fantastic. <laughs> and I enjoyed telling people about it. I can't remember it now. It's been so fucking long. Uh, long. But I don't know. Artwork very vintage very older looking like mid 90s i still liked the stuff they had for uh layman's configuration or whatever the fuck i mean it's just different maybe i'm just not a fan of babies on any of my fucking album covers just how i am but it's like similar to like how nooth grush has and whatnot um just disgusting sludge i can't wait to spin this and listen and really absorb this all the way down so yeah really happy with that i'll open up and show off the orange vinyl to myself whenever i get to play it and that probably would be sometime this weekend and like i said they had a sale going on these were five dollars a piece which i am fucking very surprised about these two LPs here, some of the best fucking, I would say, hardcore slash, uh, you know, worship of his hero is gone. And this is Torch Runner. This one is Committed to the Ground, and this one is Endless Nothing. I have both of these CDs. I have the one prior to this. I think both of these are black vinyl. Actually, I think this one is a gray but I'm not quite sure, aside from opening them up. But I played with this band in Vicksburg, Mississippi, at the practice space of um, criminal, was it criminal element? Criminal, criminal slang. That was what it was. Also, they used to be members of Colosseum. I'm trying to remember what else they did, but this band really fantastic my band was uh, the men behind the sun and just like i was thinking myself like yeah this is really great kind of a little bit grindy good bit of fucking hardcore and the fucking uh guitarist leans over he's like man they really love fucking his hero is gone and i was like oh fuck yeah you're right they have enough of that fucking db hardcore a little bit of that good sludge in there just and as a three-piece they fucking just kick so much major ass so, and they're an old band, and I don't think they get talked about enough. So there's that. Then last up is this LP. This is from Hissing. Oh, it's already opened. I guess to see what version it is. It is a black vinyl. Hissing is a dissonant death metal band. Or if you can call it death metal. It's a dissonant fucking harsh band i really like them they really do a good fucking just disgusting thing kind of like some of the stuff that i do 
but I don't know. I, maybe similar to flourishing, because it, it's hard to pinpoint down what it is. I mean, I just use death metal as a kind of sort of basis, maybe black metal, but it's it's real disgusting. And this is a two song EP. <sighs> Excuse me. Karen and Husk is the two songs. Didn't have this uh, seven inch. Now I'm happy to have it. I'll put it with my vinyl. Gotta build another uh, case for all the vinyl that I've gotten in with the 12 inches and with the uh, seven inches. So got some uh, projects ahead of me and just got my table saw working at the shop. That was, what is this, a ninth? late 1960s fucking uh, runs on 220 fucking beast of a fucking table saw can't wait to fucking do that about to change out the blade because I haven't used that son of a bitch since probably 2018 due to the uh, electrical issues and the box being fucked up and not being able to get around to using it again but Hey, maybe I'll start making some more cabs. Or I got some plans for some. Who knows? But, uh, as far as music, already started on the next hierarchies. I don't know when the first album's coming out. I know it's this year. I just, I don't have all the advanced promo material. I don't even remember what the fucking artwork for it is. And, you know, started on Thousand Cuts yesterday started on boiled tongue today still working on the next thumper album you know going with a hundred songs and I'm probably gonna go past that because I know I gotta fix some wiring in my uh, I think it's with the input jack because sometimes it hits it just right and then sometimes it's just like ultra low or ultra fucking fucked up so I gotta take those songs off of there use them for something else just for variations and see from that forgot to do uh, been working on some layouts got some new stuff coming out on CD ordering that probably in the next 30 minutes so good for that yeah a bunch of other stuff coming out I'm working on so whatever Cheers. Keep it short.